Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to connect a Movicon client license to an existing server. Here we have a typical project where the Movicon is acting as a server. As you can see, it's connected onto a PLC. Now we're going to link an additional view client license to the server. And here's how we do it. So now we've opened the Movicon and we've opened the project that's going to be running on the client. The first thing we need to know is we need to know the IP address of where the server is running. And I recommend using something like Notepad or Notepad++ where we can make some notes as we're going. So I know that the IP address of the server is that. And I'm going to come back into Movicom. I'm going to come down to IO Data Server because the name of the project that we're going to be using as both the client and the server are exactly the same. So I'm going to come down to IO Data Server, over to Settings, and nearly everything we need for the readdressing is here. So I'm going to highlight everything still in the path. I'm going to copy it and then open my notepad up again. I'm going to paste it in. Now, all I really need to worry about is instead of saying local host, I need it to be the IP address of the server. Again, I'm going to copy this. Now, when you come to your server, if it doesn't say NetTCP, it's not going to work. Um, this is probably because it's not been set up as a distributed project. So all we need to do is add a transport route and just make sure that we've got net TCP selected and added. Now I'm going to come up to client configuration, to client settings. And I'm going to come to my renamed endpoint. So what effectively we're doing is we're telling the client where to look for the tags. And that's what our renamed endpoint is. So I'm going to paste in a new address. And I'm also going to say enable endpoint discovery. I'm going to go ahead and hit save all. Now that's all we've got to do inside of the project. We need to now create a shortcut to start the project up in client mode rather than starting the IO server. So let's jump in and see how we do that part. So to create the shortcut for the client, I've opened up Notepad++ again. And what we basically need is we need the path to the Movicon runtime. And we need that in speech marks. We then need the path to the project in speech marks. And then all we do is put these two switches at the end, client and start. So let's actually browse to the installer, uh, the runtime application in Movicom. So I'm going to open a run window just using Command R and I'm just going to browse to my C drive. Now I know it's in program files, Progea, the version of Movicom which you're using in this instance, I'm using 4.2. Then we'll scroll down and what we're looking for is Movicon Runtime, which is there, Movicon Next Runtime. So I'm going to copy the first part of the path, C, and we've already says we need speech marks. So that's the first part of the path. Now we need the Movicon Runtime. 
So because I'm terrible at spelling and I want it to be correct, I'm going to use F2, which is the rename command in Windows, or I could just right click and rename. I want to get everything including the file extension. So C. That's our first part there. So that's our path to our Mobicon runtime. Now we need the path to the project. So I'm going to open Mobicon up again. I'm going to come to the top of the project tree. I'm going to come over to properties. And then down in general, advanced, we've actually got the project folder path. Now you can see it's grayed out, so it's a little more difficult to read, but we've actually got our settings button at the end. So if we click that, it actually opens up the folder. So again, I'm going to highlight the entire path, copy it, come back to my notepad, put it in speech marks to begin with, and then I need the full project name, which is there. Again, I'm going to rename, so I make sure it's correct. Copy it all. And paste it in. Then all I need is the two switches, which is client and start. So that's all what everything I need for the startup shortcut. So let's copy all of this. I'll come to desktop and I'm going to go right click new shortcut and I'm just going to paste everything in. Hit next and I like to change the name to reflect the project name. Don't have to do this, but I just find it easy. And now when I run this, it's going to open up in client mode and it's going to start the project. So I can see I've got values here. If I change the value on the server, I can see the values changing over on the client as well. And that is how you set up additional client licenses on a Movicon Next project. Thanks for watching.